What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp quick tip for you. So this is a question that I was asked by one of the members of the SketchUp Essentials course. So the SketchUp Essentials course is my step-by-step -step course where I teach you exactly how to use SketchUp, not only with tons of instruction, but also with a community forum where you can ask questions and live SketchUp coaching calls. So if you do want to get on a live call and ask questions, um, our next call is going to be tomorrow night. So make sure you check out the course at the sketchupessentials.com slash course. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so one of the things that can be really frustrating is what I would almost describe as camera creep. And so what that means is that means that a lot of the time what you want is you want a single view or a single camera view um, inside of your model, but you want like different styles and other things like that, right? So you want a top-down view, for example, if you were gonna send this to layout, but what you want is you want these cameras to all be in the same location. Well, notice how when I click between these different scenes, the cameras are in slightly different locations. And the problem with that is that means if you take this to layout or something like that, they're not going to align. And so there's actually a really quick way to fix this. And so you can fix this using the scenes toolbar in your default tray. Um, if you don't see the tray, go to window, default tray, show tray. Um, if you don't see scenes, then check the box for scenes. If you're on a Mac, you're gonna to wanna to open the scenes window rather than the scenes section of the tray. But what we wanna do is if you go into your scenes right here, clicking this drop down, you can see how all three of these scenes show up in here. Well, notice down below, there's options in here for which properties to save as a part of the scene. That basically means that all of these different things are being saved individually for each one of these scenes. Well, the cool thing about this is if you have your first scene set, so if we were to, um, if we were to double click on this to make it our active scene or just click on it over here, what you could do is you could do a shift click right here and you can right click and click on the button for update scenes. And so in this case, what we want to do is we only want to update our camera location. So you want to make sure that you deselect all these other things because otherwise it's going to apply the different shadow settings and styles and stuff and you don't really want that. But if so if you do that right click update scenes and you just check the box for camera location and click on update, what that's going to do is that's going to update scenes two and scenes three with your active camera location. So now, notice if I click between these, this isn't jumping around anymore. This is just locked to that one camera location, which has been applied to all three of these scenes. All right, so like I said, this is a question from one of my SketchUp Essentials course members. If you wanna come ask your own questions and talk live about SketchUp, I'd love to see you on the call tomorrow night. So make sure that you check out the course today. You can do that at the sketchupessentials.com slash course. Now we do have a monthly option for the course as well. So if that's something where you want to get in and check it out, you can definitely do that. But I would love to see you on those calls. They're a ton of fun. We just kind of geek out about SketchUp. It's a really good time. So I'd love to see you there. Um, but in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.